<laughs> All right, hi guys. Um, so, <laughs> so we are. No, 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 we got <laughs> you. Get restored. Hello, welcome to the Cindy Show with Lily and Rosie. If you haven't been with us before, we review Cinderella movie adaptations and rank them and basically review them. For this video, we are going to be reviewing the 2021 Cinderella starring uh, Camila Cabello, Nicholas Galitzine, Gal and Indina Menzel. You want to summarize this movie for us? Yes. So um, this movie, um, it's pretty obvious that there's a lot of money involved in this movie. Um, lots of money. Um, the set is pretty good a lot of the time. Um, the, um, um, the costuming, there's a lot of really good costumes and stuff. Um, there is, it's, it's narrated um, and there it's just um the so cinderella wants to be a dressmaker so that's a change in the plot um and um pretty much basic you know two stepsisters stepmother um this one's a musical yes um yes but instead of singing like new songs or songs from the animated version they are singing song covers except yeah. for one song there was one original song. yes a uh, million to one i believe is what it was called yes um which they repeat over and over throughout the movie <laughs> camilla yes. cavallo sings it and it doesn't even suit her voice no here's the thing yeah this movie had a lot of money put into it mm -hmm. um which is why <clears throat> it's better than some, but they did not get good actors. Um, Camila Cabello, <clears throat> we all know she can sing very well. And I think that's why they put her in this role. Mm -hmm. But the songs they gave her to sing did not fit her voice. No. Um, all, it, yeah. I didn't like any of the songs. It sounded like she was hurting her voice, which is sad. Yeah, yeah, because she, she can sing yeah. very well. They should yeah. have given her something that was good. Um, I, uh, her as Ella, I didn't feel anything for her. No, um, no. The acting yeah. was not good. Yeah, so the, the character development was, there was, there was an issue with the character development. There was none. Um, and it made it very hard to empathize with Ella or with the prince or really with any of the characters. Um, there was no yeah. character development. Um, one thing that was brought up, um, I don't know if any of our viewers has, have seen Cruella, the new film that came out not that long ago about Cruella DeVille. Um, it shows her growing up and it just um, shows, it, it makes you feel for the character. It builds the character development yeah. over and over again as the story progresses. Yeah. And there is none of that in this story. No, you, you don't feel anything for any of the characters. Mm -hmm. None of them even grow. To yeah. be honest, the um, the prince, honestly, is a brat. Yeah, and he is. although he falls for Ella, he doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Um, his beliefs don't change. It's weird. This movie felt like it was trying to be empowering for women. It was trying to poke fun at sexist standards, but it failed so badly at how it did it. Um, and and there were changes like. One particular change that we both didn't like is the traditional fairy godmother. They switched it around and had it be a man um, who was still considered the fairy godmother, but he was a man dressed in a dress, and that was the fairy godmother. Pretty much a drag queen. <laughs> Not appropriate for kids. Mm -hmm. um, there was also many innuendos in this film, a lot. And with the fairy godmother and those scenes, this was, this movie was not okay for families. It was inappropriate mm -hmm. and insulting. Yeah. To the Cinderella story and yeah. all the other good. Yeah, they're trying to fit like um, current day stuff um, into a Cinderella movie. It's supposed to be innocent and sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, it, this, this film. Um, you you didn't even get far through it the first yeah. time yeah the first time i watched it i was with my sister different sister and um we got like 20 minutes in and we were like nope can't do this nope we're turning it off so it was only later that i went back and watched the rest of it um but yeah it was that bad the bad they mm. i i saw little comparisons with this movie in the 2015 cinderella with some of the costumes and kind of the story doesn't hold a candle 
Um, the narration, I didn't like the narration on this one was bad. The acting, um, the use of song covers was a fail. Um, yeah. yeah, so they used songs, like common songs that have been around for a while that you would hear like um, playing at a mall or in a grocery store, you know, yeah. just basic songs that are not supposed to go in a Cinderella movie. No. No. And the, there was breaking the third wall moments, which I didn't like, and the mice were also creepy, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, one thing I did like about this film is the set. Um, mm -hmm that's where you you mentioned the money there's a few scenes where if you pay attention to the set design de, um sorry the set design mm -hmm. it's breathtaking mm -hmm. um there's one scene where the prince and ella walk into a room and there's a piano mm. and if you pay attention to everything it's beautiful they did a really good job with that mm -hmm. um if only also, they had put enough, the more the more detail, detail in that as in they the did. Writing, yeah, yeah, in the writing and in the acting and yeah. uh, character development. Yeah. yeah. My favorite yeah. scene was the ball dance scene. Mm -hmm. I, felt they, I felt they did a decent job at that dance. The chemistry between Ella and the prince I felt was there. I thought it was decent, um, which was nice. To, 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 that was something that I liked, that and the set design. Um, other than those two things, there's not a lot I liked. Um, kind of an interesting fact about this film is Camila Cabello used her own voice for the Spanish version. Um, and they, they also sing Somebody to Love, which is from Ella Enchanted. Um, yeah, so the, the prince sings that song and it's his whole big thing. Um, there was a choir involved with that that like yeah. backs him up. That was cringy. <laughs> that was really cringy. And also, um, other places online I've seen people reviewing this movie and they mention that um, how dare they try to steal somebody to love from Anne Hathaway who does it in Ella Enchanted. She did pretty good. Yes. That was a good one. <laughs> so and that was that's her thing so don't try to you know no. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is our sixth um, Cinderella movie review. I would give this one a two. Yeah. It would have been probably a one or a half if it wasn't for the good set design and the good chemistry between Ella and the Prince. Yeah. Yeah, it was the money involved in this that really kept us from giving it a lower rating. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. That's so, about yeah. it for this one. This is, this is, again, this is one of our lower lows. Yeah. Along there with Elle, A Modern Cinderella Tale. Yeah. Um, so um, we had to do this one. We have a lot of opinions about yep. this one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of opinions, but we had to kind of cram it and do a smaller video. Yeah. All righty. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let us know what Cinderella movie adaptation you would like us to do next. Yeah. All right. Catch you later. Bye.